Okay, here we're told that transversal EF, that's this line right here, is oops, is crossing A, B, and C, D, and they want to know which of the following, um, right, which of the following statements could prove that the A, B, and C, D are, are parallel. So you know, with these choices, all you're looking for is a choice that reflects something you always know when you have a transversal crossing two parallel lines. So for example. 2 and 4 is not going to be the answer, right? Because 2 and 4, those are vertical angles. Those are always going to be equal, whether or not you have parallel lines. 7 could be congruent to 8, but that's not always true, right? For example, if you had a two parallel lines, um, or even, let's say, any two lines, and you draw a, a, another line through them, and let's say you draw it so that it's perpendicular, right? Well, that would give us 8 and seven, these two angles would be right angles and they would be equal, but it has nothing to do with whether or not these lines are actually parallel. So that's not something we're going to be able to, sorry, to use. Three and six are supplementary. Where are those two? Well, this is the answer because this is the only one, the only pair where you know, that you know has to be true. When you have two transversal lines, uh, transversal cutting two parallel lines, 3 and 6, these interior angles, always add up to 180. And because that's always true, that's the one we're looking for here. Uh, the last one, 1 and 5 are supplementary. Again, that could be true, but it's not always true. What is always true, for example, is that 1 and 5 are congruent, right? All right, hope this helped.